I am too busy for this YouTube stuff. You guys should feel honored. You getting the only well-made video, well, not well-made, because it's not well-made yet. I'm still making it, but you guys are getting a video this week, whereas my channel hasn't gotten much at all. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I don't know much about theater and the government in Australia. So in terms of this theme, I'm probably gonna be kind of useless and making up a lot of stuff. So if what I'm saying doesn't make sense, keep watching the video, I'll just not be making any sense. So first to talk about something I do know, which is kind of old news. But since you're in America and Germany, respectively, and Canada, I like Canada. Um, you guys might not know about this and might actually care about it. Basically, there's a main theatre school in Melbourne. Uh, it's called the Victorian College of the Arts, the VCA. And it is related to uh, Melbourne University, which is apparently a big fancy university, but I'm not a fan. I go to Melbourne's competition university, Monash University. Now, about three years ago, Melbourne implemented this thing called the Melbourne Model which essentially decided that it didn't like students having really specific subjects and as such it forced them to take a breadth subject if they were doing a very specific course so if they were doing a course in arts like a BA in English they would have to take a subject in like the science faculty so they could keep their options open well that was okay but then something bad happened and they attempted because they now technically owned the Victorian College of the Arts due to a bailout that they gave them from their budget. They gave the Victorian College of the Arts money so they could stay open. Because they effectively now ran Victorian College of the Arts, they decided that they wanted to implement the Melbourne model into Victorian College of the Arts. Now, this caused an uproar among the theatre community. Um, we had people like Jeffrey Rush, Julia Zemiro, big actors come out and say they didn't ap approve of this at all. And the reason why that was was because the whole point and the whole appeal of the Victorian College of the Arts was that it was a specific university. It, it focused on the performing arts, or arts, or fine art, or printmaking, or dancing, and whatever floats your boat in the arts, faculties, areas. So by attempting to make them do a breadth subject, it kind of completely defeated the purpose of that uni even existing. So that was a big thing recently in Australia when it came to not so much government, but like institutional interference into theatre. Yeah, that was a pretty big deal. I went to the protest march for that, that was pretty cool. I got to see Jeffrey Rush speak. That was awesome. But yeah, so that's something I do know about, I guess, a little bit. Something I recently heard about, and it's not so much about theatre, it's more just about performance in general, um, because a lot of the stuff that I pay attention to is the acting stuff, because it's something that I'm really interested in. Um, the Australian government is currently debating whether or not to pass a bill which would allow uh, the film industry to stop having to have a certain percentage of Australian actors involved in their productions, basically. So that would basically mean if this bill passed, they could just bring in any old Joe from anywhere around the world by paying them however much money they needed to pay them to get them to come over here. Which would decimate the Australian jobs in the industry because, let's face it, if they can get someone from Hollywood who they know is good rather than, say, me, or some random other unknown person, uh, then they're going to go get the person from Hollywood that they know is good. So that's been a bit of a debate recently. And that's basically the extent of my knowledge when it comes to government interference. I think we're pretty good. I think the government is actually pretty fond of the performing arts here in Melbourne, and therefore do all right. Um, I never really hear that much complaints, and all like big famous theatres like La Mama, which has been open for longest running theatre in Melbourne history, gets government funding quite nicely, and other such places get the same thing if they're not privately run. So yeah, I think we do all right here in Melbourne when it comes to theatre and the government, and I will see you guys next week.